Hello, my friends. This is Alexi, and this is the last issue of Power Semiconductors Weekly this year. During 2021, I had great pleasure to deliver you the latest news in Power Semiconductors industry, packed in compact reports with no ads, no unnecessary information, no distractions. I will make it even better in 2022, so stay tuned for updates. Wish you a wonderful year ahead full of great adventures and achievements. And now it's time to see what is new in power semiconductors industry end of this year. The automotive industry is in the process of switching to high voltage power trains, from a level of 400 volt to 800 volt in electric cars. This process requires time as there are not enough suppliers and the costs are not yet at level to switch the entry level products. However, 800V is just another level rather than the final solution, especially in the case of the bigger battery systems. According to the recent reports, BYD Semiconductor, a subsidiary of BYD, has not only developed but also launched on the market a now new 1200V power device driver chip. This new chip is described as a magnetic isolated single channel gate driver chip dedicated to controlling 1200 volt power devices compatible with 1200 volt IGBT and silicon carbide power modules. In order to meet the high frequency and compact application needs of automotive customers, Wushi Leaper Semiconductor has introduced a new E0 series silicon carbide power module. The module uses the latest 1200V and 1700V silicon carbide MOSFET chip, and the on-state resistance is as low as 5.5 mA. In addition, to optimize the electrical performance, Wushi Leaper Semiconductor has also strengthened the heat dissipation and reliability with new high-temperature resistant epoxy resin material and assembly process. The E0 series silicon carbide MOSFET module can prolong the power cycle lifetime by 3-4 times. The E0 package outline is compatible with the E1B package as well. Offer Powertrain, a global leading automotive powertrain technology company, and VZIC Technologies, a global leader in gallium nitride solutions for high voltage automotive applications, announced a partnership to work jointly on a GAM based inverter for 800 volt automotive applications. Hoffa Powertrain has been working for more than five years on development of three-level inverters for automotive powertrain applications, revealing vast benefits that the three-level topology brings compared to today's state-of-the-art two-level inverters using IGBTs or silicon carbide chips. The special properties of the three-level topology of an inverter lead to improved overall system energy consumption and the relevant reference driving cycles, such as World Harmonized Light Duty Vehicles Test Procedure, due to reduced harmonic losses in the motor. Moreover, the noise vibration harshness behavior of the complete electric drive unit can be improved due to the better total harmonic distortion of the output current affecting noise reduction. LX Semicon, the largest fabless company in Korea, acquired LG and Attack silicon carbide semiconductor assets. It is expected to develop silicon carbide semiconductors and enter the semiconductor market for automotive. Alex Semicon recently completed a contract to acquire patent assets with silicon carbide semiconductor device facilities. The two companies confirmed that the amount of the acquisition cannot be disclosed, but it is true that the transfer contract has been signed. As a result, Alex Semicon is expected to enter the automotive semiconductor market. The silicon carbide development organization will also operate soon. BYD has officially placed an order with chipmaker Hanjo Silan for automotive IGBTs, totaling 100 million yuan. BYD previously sourced its IGBT modules from its own semiconductor division. The packaged products of automotive IGBT modules have entered the stage of batch supply. Previously, the company only provided products for customers such as Leap Motor. This is partly because BYD semiconductor production capacity is really tight and partly to compress its related transactions with BYD Group. It was not only CLAN that got the orders, but also Star Power Semiconductor, Times Electric, and China Resources Microelectronics, almost all manufacturers that have passed BYD's verification were included. Chinese power semiconductors company Marching Power Technology announced that it has secured over 500 million yuan in a Series C round, which was led by CDH Investments and attracted other investors. The company said the money raised will be poured into the R&D of the products for new energy vehicle and photovoltaic industries and used to further expand of its production capacity. 
Founded in 2017, Marching Power Technology has three product lines for the IGBT series, the MOSFET series and the module series. Its module packaging line is capable of porting and plastic packaging the modules designed for new energy vehicles and industrial control devices, and also the intelligent power modules for home appliances. Core Energy Semiconductor, a leading Chinese gallium nitride devices provider, has recently completed Series C financing and will accelerate the construction of its second fabrication plant. Core Energy Semiconductor is based in Jiangsu province. Founded in 2010 by Dr. Gavin Chu, the company has a diverse team of experts with years of experience in materials, device designs and in-depth manufacturing know-how of silicon and gallium nitride devices. Core Energy Semiconductor CEO said that the company would further accelerate the construction of its second plant. It will foray into the fast charging market and continue to explore the application of gallium nitrate materials in a field of 5G base stations and new energy vehicles. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more market news coming next week no matter what. Meanwhile, go to Marketing Psycho website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch and see you next year.